You talked a little bit about Colorado before, knowing that they're in that kind of slump, and you mentioned teams like that are kind of like a trapped animal, dangerous, you know. Is that, uh, if, if you talked about that with your team at all, and just expecting to, to get a lot of, you know, kind of a, a lot of fight from them? No, I haven't talked about them being a trapped animal. I've talked about um, them tactically. I talked about their individuals. I've showed video on where I think they're good. I've showed them video um, where I think we can, you know, perhaps um, look to have success. Um, haven't really talked much about at all the record. I don't think that really helps. Um, you know, for me, I don't think it even plays into the game whatsoever because at the end of the day it's going to come down to what happens in 90 minutes and it doesn't matter the past doesn't play into that at all so for me it was just stressing the important things that we need to do and um, what I would say is they've got some good players that we have to be aware of and, and to manage um, Bottle Brown they're a handful you know, Dylan Powers a good player the two center minutes good players um, so for me uh, it's you have to have respect for every opponent you play. And in this sport, um, it's, it always comes down to what happens in the game. That's it. So the past doesn't play into anything for me. Obviously, there's for them a past of, of maybe not performing as well or getting results. But, you know, I don't, I don't think it plays into this game. It's an important game for them. And uh, we're going to get a, a good performance out of them. And, you know, to win the game, we're going to need a good performance. Does the Champions League game? Um, when you get back to Portland, have any effect on, on the lineup that you choose for Colorado? I think you know you have to look at the next really two weeks and and isolated, you know, and in an isolated way, you got to look at um, the Saturday Tuesday because obviously it's one day rest in between. So, but the priority, um, if there is a priority, is is the league and making the playoffs. So uh, we're not going to sacrifice getting out of the group with Champions League. Um, but we've managed this season in a way where we've rotated our squad and, and you know, we've had success doing that. And, uh, you know, we're going to need to do that uh, and because Colorado and Vancouver, these two games, these are teams right there around us. And, um, you know, perhaps if, if we were in a different situation, then, then maybe you could rotate and, and approach it, you know, differently with the league. But we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to put it put a major emphasis on the league, but we still think we can win um, in the two, the next two Champions League games, um, you know, by rotating our squad. When you've talked about, um, I think earlier, about not focusing too much on the defensive errors and things like that. Why do you think that was important at this particular time of the season for them to look forward, or is that the the thinking part of the thinking is just looking forward at the opponent coming up and I, mean, I think everybody makes defensive errors you know and if you look at the game and you watch it you know I spent about 30 minutes with the back four watching um, the key moments uh, defensive moments and there weren't many we didn't give up a lot of chances and uh, you know for me I think the the impression is we have this leaky defense um, I think in terms of giving up goals you know, obviously that's been the case, but I think we're a lot better defensively recently um, than that last game and the goals we gave up reflected. Vancouver, if you look at that game, you can't forget about that. We defended really well. Last game overall from an organization standpoint, we didn't give up a lot of chances. Um, you know, two of the three goals were, um, you know, getting caught on the ball. You know, first one was getting caught on the ball. Um, you know, the, sec the second goal was similar it's kind of a missed tackle you know and then the ball pops to a guy and a, you know the third one for me is the is the major one that you know we can't let happen because it's a serve and it's a cross and it's wando and it's something we talked about with selena servant so for me out of the three that was the one that probably bothers me the most the other two it's just not getting caught on the ball and having a a, a bit of a luck, luckier bounce you know those goals like that happen sometimes um, but the third goal where you, you know that's what they're looking to do. Uh, for me, those are the ones really that we need to limit. And so, so we had a good meeting yesterday and went through the positives, went through the moments we could have managed better. Um, you know, so we're not going to panic here because we gave up three goals. We're not going to be happy about it, but we're also not going to panic.
and we're not going to overreact. I think that's the key because you do have to look at Vancouver and you have to look at how we defended in that game. And you have to look at the last game overall from an organizational standpoint, how we defended. So, you know, we're always going to look at what happened and we're going to analyze it. We're going to watch film on it. We're going to train to always be better, but we're not going to overreact at this stage in the season. And, and, and if there's a reason for me to think there's a major problem, then certainly I'll address that. But um, for me, it's a few moments that we could have done better with. When you, um, the team obviously scoring scoring goals at a pretty high rate. I think you've got 47 third highest. Why is this? Why is it the team clicking? Seem like better. Obviously, better today than it was earlier in the season. What do you see as some of this, the reasons why? I think you know we've really played well and created chances in the attack all season long. Even.